Hello, 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 assalamu alaikum. Ji, I am Pakhera Ghaleni. How much you know? Shumay Washmale or Hi Gonzaimus. Hi hugs and hellos to all these beautiful, amazing people who are tuned into PT World and are watching World this morning alongside Shahzad Khan and Maha Makdoom. Hello, Maha. Good morning. How are you? Assalamualaikum, Shahzad. Hello. Good morning. I'm very well today, actually. As the week has gone, I've been getting better yeah. and better because the weather's been changing. I haven't been feeling too well. Yeah. But, you know, I've been trying to live a healthy well, life. Just because, because I didn't have a handkerchief with me, so, you know, my mom gave me a towel as well. Just to, <laughs> Ew, you know, keep it away from because me. Because I have got a runny nose as well. And if I'm coughing too much, people, please bear with me. I exactly. Didn't want to Forgive him. Um, yeah. But no, today we, we are going to highlight, first of all, it is World Heart Day. It's about healthy living and it's about cutting down all your bad habits like smoking and not exercising and eating unhealthily. And at the end of the day, if you don't have a healthy body, you can't have a healthy mind or a healthy yeah. life. Because what you eat is what you are. So people, you know, the only reason why we picked up on this day is that a lot of people, they do not go to gym, they do not exercise, they yes. do not run. And this is the reason why the number of heart attacks is increasing every day. So please make sure that you look after yourselves. It's World Heart Day because your heart is what is at the very heart of life. Exactly. And that's wonderful. So bear that in mind. Do be, uh, you know, pay attention to what you guys are doing today and for the coming days as well. Exactly. Which is that we have another very important show today. Yeah. Um, and I'm really glad because this year we've been really trying to like really hit on <coughs> social issues and topics that are affecting everyone in this country. Exactly. So ladies and gentlemen, what we have picked up on is this depiction of social issues within media. Yeah. We're not saying dramas, drama series. We are not saying films. We are not saying television. We are saying depiction of social issues within media. Now, mm -hmm. when we talk about social issues, there can be quite a lot of social issues, for mm -hmm. example. And I would love to give references over here when we'll start, uh, you know, with our conversation mm. with our panelists over here. Because of the fact that, you know, if, mm. for example, we say that this was being done in one of the drama series, that won't be a great deal until unless I will mention the name. Uh, well, exactly, exactly. And the thing is, we're not here to point fingers or point blame. What we are here to do is to discuss what is the situation, how are we depicting it, how is it having an impact on our social um, society, on our social issues, and on what the way we think. So, so <laughs> yeah. introduce our guests. And, and, you know, our producers over here do really want to convey something to us, but okay, I don't think that they're... Okay, we're going to go share a trailer, yes. Okay, we're going so to share, share a trailer. trailer with you now. Let's go take a look, and when you come back, we're going to introduce our fantastic guests to discuss the topic today. Our culture is not only bad, but we don't have to say that. Because we say that. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. बहुत मजबूत बनाने की बात बदल रही है। बहुत ऐसा होता नहीं उनके पास। वो मैंने सोच लिया। वो इस मुल्क के प्रेसिडेंट। तो लखनऊ के इंसान पैदा किए हैं हमने। दवाइयों की बोतलें नहीं। हमने दुआओं को पता नहीं क्या समझ लिया है। तू भी अगर कोई गलत काम करेगा तो मैं चुप नहीं रहूँगी, बोलूँगी। तू बोलेगी नहीं जाना तो ना जा अकेला परात ले आऊँगा मैं बड़ी माँ बनी फिरती है ओ माँ हमारे देख ले आया मैं तेरी बहू दिखा चोट लगी है तुझे बोल बोल किसी से चलाकियाँ कर रही थी हैं मुझे बाबा जी खाने में बड़ी वाली छोरी है ना वो तुम कहीं छुपा दो वरना अब मार देगा I don't know if I'm going to die with you. I'm not a victim. I'm not a survivor. I'm not a victim. He raped me. All right, people, these were a few trailers which we shared with you guys just to highlight what type of social issues are being depicted within drama serials and then at the same time films as well. So let's just introduce our panelists over here. Let's see what they have to say about all of these issues being depicted. Okay, okay well, our first guest is a legend within Pakistan, within the film and the drama industry. And uh, to someone who has been acting since uh, 1992, he made his acting debut in K2. He is now part of, he started the Hunarkada Art Academy as well. And in he also did a show, a program 
on social issues called Traffic, which also was nominated for six BAFTA awards. It was done with Channel 4 in England, and it is none other than Jamal Shah. Assalamualaikum, good morning. Thank you so much for joining Thank us today. Thank you very much for coming over, And sir. I missed out a very important point. He also did his uh, directorial <coughs> debut, which was released this year, which is called Revenge of the Worthless. Wow. So that's also another social issue we're going to discuss. Thank and you so much. And we have been trying for long to get you on the show as well, so thank you very much for taking our pleasure. time. Uh, besides Jamal Shah, we have been joined by Ijaz Gul. He is our film critic. Assalamualaikum. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us as well today. Uh, besides uh, Mr. Jaz Gul, we have been joined by Rakshanda Parveen. She is a gender expert and she was a former TV anchor and producer as well. Assalamualaikum. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Hello, thing. I'm going to sneeze, sneeze in a while. Okay, you can yeah. sneeze. I'm going to start the conversation then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm going to start with you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, nice you know, you've worked since 92 within the industry. You've done also very, you know, very prominent highlighting issues within your work. How do you think things have evolved since you have been working, since you last did traffic, for example? Well, in the context of uh, PTV or Pakistan television or film, I, mean, I think, uh, uh, first of all, let me <coughs> clarify that mm -hmm. uh, I'm someone who believes that art is for life. Mm -hmm. It is not for art's sakes, uh, mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> essentially. I mean, even if you uh, are dealing with the highly compromised uh, art form, the, uh, you know, in the, uh, terms of film or uh, painting or music or TV drama, it still is about life. Mm -hmm. So art becomes a means of communication mm -hmm. and what you communicate is, uh, you know, your, your own under understanding of life with people, mm -hmm. that's what you're sharing. And when you are sharing uh, your views about life, it is bound to uh, have social issues and political issues. You cannot be without, uh, you cannot be apolitical. Okay. Ever. Okay, interesting. So, uh, PTV has uh, been socially aware, <coughs> uh, you know, uh, beginning. Mm. When we were introduced, PTV used to present very, very relevant plays. Mm. And the good thing about PTV or our drama in general is that our dramas are socially relevant mm -hmm. based on authentic issues, mm -hmm. but uh, at the same time there are confines of censorship, etc., etc. And also you have to see the mindset of uh, the society, mm -hmm. whether society can absorb that criticism <coughs> peacefully or uh, is it going to react to it or what are the you know the effects of that particular message you are transmitting right. by and large i think uh, our, our plays have been successful in transmitting social messages for better for betterment of life okay wonderful okay but then sir at the same time since you know we are discussing the social issues at large and not just ptv mm -hmm. there were times when there was 50 50 and apology and all of these dramas which had a social impact as well back then and we used to learn Earlier in the day, dramas were uh, actually a medium to teach how to probably go around things as well. Nowadays, is it just the entertainment? Is it just the TRPs? That's why they pick up on such social issues where child marriages come in, where abuses come in. That's an interesting question. The thing right. is that there was a shift that I noticed. Uh, when we were on PTV, there used to be a programmer and a group of uh, you know professionals deciding as to what programming is going to be but in the commercial uh, private channels it's the marketeer who decides mm -hmm. so it's the trp okay. not the content or the relevance of uh, uh, that uh, <coughs> you know particular subject okay. which is why it's creating problems because they tend to uh, make it more and more sensational mm -hmm. and uh, most often in a in an irresponsible manner. Okay, oh. and we're going <coughs> to uh, pick up on this sensationalism as well and uh, the effects of it. But I'd like to bring uh, Mr. Jaz into the conversation. As a film critic as well, you've also seen the evolution of the films. You know, everything had, to a certain degree, a social message. It kind of had some sort of positivity that kind of projected positivity of the culture. But now we're seeing <coughs> a lot of negativity, Sorry. a lot of um, you know controversial controversial things coming out. Do you? think that the film uh, is going in the right direction? Are we highlighting it in the same way? Are we going back to the same quality? Or are we going towards the marketing aspect of it all? I think in the last few years, 
uh, say like from 07, mm -hmm. uh, there has been a change in films, and uh, it's a good change, okay. uh, starting from Khuda Ke Liye, and then Bol, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Revenge of the Worthless mm -hmm. and, uh, by Shah Saab, and then uh, Manto. Mm -hmm. uh, I think all these films are very daring, mm -hmm. very ruthless. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's not the way it was, mm -hmm. and I think uh, I'm hoping that uh, more more films, you know, uh, depicting such uh, openness mm -hmm. would be coming in in the coming months and years. Okay, about, about then the question over here is: Are we ready for such openness as well, or are we not? I think films would make us open to this. Okay, okay. films yeah. will because yeah. they are too. That's anyway. the yeah. purpose of art. I mean, it's exactly. about communication about dialogue. Okay. Um, I, I want to bring Ms. Rakshan into the conversation as well. Now, um, the fact that the dramas and the films are becoming more daring, we are, you know, we're highlighting issues. For example, let's talk about Revenge of the Worthless. That is about inheritance issues. It's about protecting certain cultural values. Do you think that it has a positive impact? Are we, are we, are we learning something from these films and dramas? We can always learn, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, no, but you we have can, talked but about. Uh, you you said that uh, uh, our films have become more daring. Mm -hmm. So, but there are very few films, and I can only think not because Shah Saab is sitting <laughs> next to me yeah. of his uh, you know latest mm -hmm. uh, film mm -hmm. uh, that uh, when uh, there are very few people, rather mm -hmm. rare ones, who can take an intellectual risk. So mm -hmm. there is a difference between you know taking an intellectual risk or becoming daring. So mm -hmm. there are daring. Uh, presentations but not always you know uh, creating some positive impact okay but uh, since I have been uh, uh, of course uh, one of the f uh, many followers of art and literature but mm -hmm. my practical experience has been mostly with television mm -hmm. uh, first before the camera and then behind the camera mm -hmm. and I produced the first uh, uh, series uh, on gender issues in Pakistani context mm -hmm. way back in uh, 1999 mm -hmm. and most of the daring issues that uh, uh, now they are very uh, uh, much talked about. Uh, it was for the first time that uh, they were presented and that too from a supposedly restrictive medium that and that too from the PTV okay. uh, like uh, so, so many words and my friend said that uh, censor would never you know accept it but yeah. everything was uh, accepted this yeah. means that you need to know how to communicate uh, uh, while considering social appropriation okay. while being technically correct and I got this strength again because uh, PTV has always been considered very traditional and conservative mm. But much before my works on <laughs> PTV, Jamal Shah produced a very bold and daring series, by the way, on the issues of AIDS mm. and HIV mm. uh, through a drama serial. So I got that courage that, okay, I produce a program <laughs> that was a magazine show. But coming back uh, again to the topic of this uh, discussion, TV uh, is the executive club of the excluded. Mm. So who should be the, in the managing committee? Mm. There should be some intellectuals, some intellectuals. Mm. I am not excluding she marketing balance, yeah. people, but there should be some intellectuals. There mm. should be some people who have some knowledge mm. of our history, mm. of our literature, mm. of our roots, and who can celebrate diversity. Well That's mm. amazing. I'm so glad you said that. Mm. I'd like to bring uh, Jamal Shah back into the conversation. Uh, you've, you know, you've done very daring things now, uh, very and intellectually. Now, the way you're seeing the dramas currently, f let's talk about your film, for example, uh, you know, the issues that you've picked up on that. Um, some people say that, oh, we, we're highlighting negativity, you know, why are we bringing it out? You know, these things don't achieve it. What yeah. would you say to those people that say that, let's talk about, you know, everything being happy, you know, <coughs> bed of roses. What would you say? Why did you make this well, film? Well, the thing is, that if you remain a praise writer mm. or a praise singer, then you are ineffective. Right. You of all of these not issues. contributing yeah. anything to society. Mm -hmm. When you criticize something, you criticize it out of love because you want to, you know, make your surroundings better and more livable. Okay. That's why you know certain writers or filmmakers or painters, they choose to you know uh, uh, reflect upon the contradictions or dichotomies mm -hmm. within our societies mm -hmm. because we don't want to see those dichotomies. You want harmony, we want peace, we want uh, prosperity and cohesion and dialogue. Right. So, uh, I mean, that's my answer. Okay. okay, but then, sir, now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to share, you know, a plot of one of the drama serials which is on air on television and you just have to let me know whether we can learn something from it or not with mm -hmm. being a part of the modern society as well. Mm -hmm. And then for all those people who probably live within the rural areas sure. and watch it and have an impact. 
So now Chopra is the story of Ramin, a girl, a woman who is subjected to physical abuse by her brother-in-law. Now this is just the gist of the plot. Do you think anybody would, would actually learn something from such a plot? Well, I'm, I'm of the view that you should never underestimate your viewers, whether they're in the rural belt or uh, high-fi urban centers. I mean, they're human beings. They yeah. have minds. They can discern. They can make up their minds, and they can, you know, uh, understand things. <coughs> Nothing wrong with depicting these things, provided you depict it with the sincerity and, uh, uh, you know, uh, what do you say, in a balanced way. Okay. okay. Now, is it good to depict such issues? I said nothing wrong. Yeah. Okay. Okay, nothing so wrong. it has to be in a balanced way. What's your take on it? <laughs> well, I think I, I would agree with Shah Saab, uh, with the exception, a, a very small exception, that there are certain family values. <coughs> and uh, we should we, we should uh, we should respect those basic family exactly values. so that means that you know such a drama scene cannot actually be watched by sitting with all of your siblings or parents oh. as well okay but Shanda, we do what that? do you feel what do you yeah. feel about this <laughs> okay uh, you know uh, we're trying to get a discussion <coughs> yeah. here yeah yeah, yeah. so mm. i agree mm. but with a but english wala <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. Because I think one part, one dimension of learning is also to unlearn. Mm -hmm. And uh, the specific example that you have given, fortunately, unfortunately, I have seen this uh, drama series. So the production was a bit clumsy. But as far as the issue is concerned, let mm -hmm. us accept mm -hmm. that we have such social issues. Mm -hmm. Incest happens in Pakistan. Violence against women and girls happen in Pakistan. Women are harassed mm -hmm. uh, at their workplaces and within their uh, homes as well. So these are the living realities mm -hmm. and if we do not want to see them if we do not want to read about them then we are actually betraying ourselves mm -hmm. and uh, there was a time when <laughs> good families used to tell their children not to read manto mm -hmm. not to read fez yeah. not to read joshma so mm -hmm. uh, so th so uh, so what is good and what is bad mm -hmm. so it's all but again i would come to, uh, back to this presentation style and how do you communicate mm -hmm. how do you communicate the truth is very important Absolutely. and that uh, you know that creates a difference uh, between <coughs> you know, an art film and <laughs> what mm -hmm. is not an art film mm -hmm. so one has to understand this mm -hmm. but again i i'm all for advocating uh, these issues through television mm -hmm. because it is very good it is very important and relevant for young people to know that everything happens that too in Pakistan. But I'm so glad you're saying, I'm yeah. really agree with you saying. Sorry. But now half of the time what I've witnessed is, you know, because whenever I go back home, my mother's obviously right in front of the television <laughs> watching all of these drama serials. Oof. Okay, so a very normal plot, which is that, you know, obviously our husband's cheating over his own wife. A very normal plot, you'll see it in a every regular other... Yeah, regular, regular okay. practice of husbands. Yeah, regular practice, I'm not denying it. You know, pe you know, men do that. Okay, but now what happens is once you switch the TV off, mm -hmm. the brain goes back to the drama serial, mm -hmm. okay, particularly, and then, you know, all of these problems start within your own household. Mm -hmm. Just because of the fact that they think that this is real. No, 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 no. You start identifying it because eyes cannot see what the brain doesn't know and then okay. you can identify. <laughs> I love so, what you think. So something. If, if, if something, if a play or a film can uh, increase your awareness about a certain yes. issue, that's a uh, contribution. Okay. And, no, and so what if it increases your doubtfulness? All the better. Okay. okay it's even better. Okay, oh, now yeah. I'd, I'd like to build you, you up. Should, you should all, always have the element of doubt. You yeah. should question things. Yeah. All right. And That's I'm, what we're doing. Uh, let me, uh, uh, you know, um, I wanted to uh, say something uh, concerning what uh, Dr. Saiba said. Yes. I think it's about uh, uh, the, the, the way you present things. Mm. Yes. It depends on that. If your subject is compromised, mm. then it becomes vulgarized oh. yeah. and ruthlessly commercial yep. and therefore untrue also. Irresponsible, it can you know, uh, affect the society in a very bad manner. Mm. For instance, music is uh, not haram, mm. but if music is compromised mm. and used in a worst possible vulgar way, then it can have... Yes. Uh, you know, Absolutely. Mm. Th that's exactly what I wanted to build up on, the fact that you, know, there are, you have multiple dramas that have uh, Basically, there's no beginning, middle, or end. It's just <laughs> about the marketing aspect. It's about mm. getting the ratings. And I think those are the dramas that you're discussing yeah. here. But then you do have the few, we showed some of them, mm. which do pick up on very important subjects. 
But the thing is, when they come out, like for example, the one on child sexual abuse, uh, there were think there were people who wanted to ban it, or you mm. know, saying this is too controversial, it should be censored. Now, how do we get that balance? Because you said that you cannot be apolitical, but majority of the things on television, they don't have a purpose. They're not yeah. serving the society in a positive way. You do have the one or few. You have your films. You know, the few that filter through. How do we find that balance now? Because people are becoming very aware. I mean, as I said, if the content is compromised, it mm. is compromised because uh, of a, mm. because of the lack of clarity of the writer. Right. The writer might have handled this, uh, that particular issue in a very shabby manner, mm -hmm. without going into finer details. Right. Yeah. Therefore, oversimplifying a matter, which again becomes commercial. Right. Because of the the, the intent behind. Uh, such presentation is commercial, and then the the the, the production, mm -hmm. whether it has that uh, production values which complement the content or not. Right. So it's about uh, it's, it's it depends on the presentation of a subject. I mean, you can choose anything and make it uh, the worst possible. Make it okay. Now, now this is wh what I will pick up on. Since since we you yeah. know you mentioned about the production value as well. Now everybody has watched Game of Thrones, everybody has mm -hmm. watched Ishke Mamnoon, and everybody has watched Moor Mahal as well. Production value was there. Mm -hmm. How do you, don't you think that it was executed in a very shabby manner where you know you just can't figure out what the plot was actually? Well, How the production we value I'm was not there. a fan of Games of Thrones, yeah. although I've seen it. Yeah. It has impressive production values, it's huge, it's very, very expensive. Mm -hmm. But end of the day, it becomes, it. Uh, seems like an irresponsible production. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, regarding uh, Ishke Mamnoon, I'm, I was not a fan of that production either. Mm -hmm. Fatma Gul, I'm a fan of Fatma Gul. That all was right. a great production. It had all the intricate details. You know, it was not uh, oversimplified for commercial reasons. Mm -hmm. So you need uh, that, uh, you know, authentic authenticity. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, layers upon layers, you know, of uh, And is that the reason that Moor Mahal didn't work out for Pakistanis? I've, I've not seen Moor Mahal. I mean, j I've seen just a few scenes. I mean, it didn't pr impress me. Okay. okay. Plus, okay. Uh, I think the, 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 the subject matter was also not relevant. Yeah, actually, okay. I, so I, I haven't watched about. it. I've heard about it. I haven't watched it. Okay. But again, uh, uh, Shah Sahib has already, you know, oh. said it, that not only the clarity and authenticity, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the audience profiling is also very important. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, television is for all. You can you cannot say it. I mean, uh, you know, gone are the days when parents used to say, no, you cannot watch TV yeah. after yeah. Uh, nine. Or you can only watch, uh, you know, cartoons. Mm -hmm. So everyone is there. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, a, a classroom where there are back and uh, mm -hmm. they are a top scorer. So you have to come up with a, you know, content that caters to everybody's needs. So that's a very challenging task. That's mm -hmm. a very challenging task. So audience profiling has to be done. And uh, uh, one should be always, you know, recalling that what is the purpose of television, mm -hmm. and especially your state-owned television. Mm -hmm. So how much time should be given to entertainment and how much time to, uh, you know, education <coughs> and awareness. And then there is a fusion that infotainment or education and entertainment yeah. combine together. Mm -hmm. But again, presentation matters a lot. If you present a very important issue and you want that you should know about it in a very dull manner like if you guys are not uh, appearing that attractive then mm -hmm. who would be glued to television because at the end of the day television remains a visual medium mm -hmm. I mean uh, Jamal Shah is an intellectual but mm -hmm. well <laughs> let me admit hero of our, our days first we used to look at his looks mm -hmm. and then he used to look at his acting <laughs> he's still on billboards yes, yes he is but I'm just talking about you know <laughs> yeah. just, oh, when, a face. <laughs> just, just like 20 30 years <laughs> when okay. we were very young no, okay. I just want to ask you yes. Gulsa, about more male as well well, what's your take on this one? Well, uh, not just Noor Mahal. I think I would say one thing which uh, I have not mentioned mm. is the subtlety and mm. good taste. Mm. Okay. Subtlety and good taste should never be lost. Okay. Uh, you can show a very controversial thing, mm. but show it in good taste mm. and uh, keep it subtle. Okay. Okay, but the thing is, uh, what we are doing, because we do have the f we do have the film films and the dramas that are doing the, the purpose. They have the layer upon layer, they have the depth, they have the social issues. But majority of the dramas out there, they are lacking that, like I said, they're lacking that guidance. Now, how, like you said, we need some intellectuals there, but how do we now actually get the masses on board? Because 
at the end of the day, the marketing and the audience profiling yeah. has become very, it's all about sensationalizing. It's all about that momentary impact. Like Shazad said, someone watches a program about their you know, husband having an affair. It causes issues because there's no way to deal with it. They don't give you a solution. Yeah. How do we start bringing back the solutions? Like, for example, you did the, well, you the show on AIDS. You, you don't need to give them solutions. Okay. You just activate the minds. Right, you yes. should... Uh, insert questions into people's minds and people are intelligent enough to decide for themselves okay. uh, uh, you know <coughs> productions that have solutions mm. <coughs> normally are you know one dimensional okay. they fall into that trap so as i said earlier that uh, a production should have clarity <coughs> and highest va production values okay. that okay. impresses people Plus, of course, you should publicize your product. You should, uh, uh, the publicity should be effective. And mm. um, the, the reason why my film, Revenge of the Worthless, despite, despite being, uh, I think, one of the most authentic films, yes. mm. relevant films, uh, didn't do that well commercially because it was not. Because uh, uh, it was not for the sake of money. No, no, no. That's that was not the case. Mm. Because it was not uh, publicized properly, not promoted properly, okay. the marketing right. was lacking. Right. Otherwise, I mean, it could it could have made uh, yes. you know reasonable amount of money. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but then, sir, now what I want to know is that you know this is one of my philosophy, and I say that for example, to innovate, you have to imitate first. You know, for example, you know, you you saw a drama which probably might not be produced in Pakistan, and then you wanted to reproduce it over here in Pakistan. You have to imitate first at least 60, 70 percent, and then innovate on those bases and on those grounds as well. Do you think that we have we have developed that capacity Why to should inno you imitate? innovate? Because yeah, yeah. innovation you comes from imitation. You should learn the learn the learn the skills. You should mm. uh, empower yourself. Yeah. You exactly. don't have to imitate. Okay. You can uh, you can um, get inspiration. Yeah, from inspiration is the right word. <laughs> from any any production from um, produced anywhere in the world. Mm. So, do you think we have developed those capacities? We have learned. We have gone beyond. From where were we? I think we keep on learning these things. I mean, if you keep your mind open, there's no limit to uh, learning, mm. and uh, there's so many things, uh, um, you know, all, ar all around the world that you can learn from. Okay. Very nice yeah. and amazing. Now, one last point. Mm. You know, you might get it very critically, <laughs> but uh, it's perfectly all right. We're asking questions. Mm. Now, what I wanted to ask was that for all of those production houses being in Karachi specifically. Now, what they do is they pick up on these social stigmas or taboos because of the fact that it's going to be a great hit within the market and everybody will go like, oh, have you seen that drama? That's what they're discussing. So then when you come within an aspect where such things are discussed because of the fact that the end factor is going to be money or it's going to be a hit, how do you think that we can justify that it's well, not a very complex I mean, art I've, form? I've not watched these uh, dramas which you are referring to. Mm. But, uh, you know, the gimmickry used in uh, promoting these plays work. Okay. And uh, the sphere is very limited. It's not uh, like PTV mm. with a huge footprint. Mm. So if you um, bring those dramas into open or show it on PTV also, you'll know whether the TRP is uh, uh, dubious or True. Okay. Right. So, so you'll get better um, yeah. representation. But let's see what Jaz Sahib has to say about it as well. Well, I think... Uh, Producing such issues for the sake of publicity and money. Hmm. Both, you know, both. <laughs> I, I think marketing is very important. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <coughs> no producer or no production house would touch a thing which would not sell. Yeah. So it's simple as that. Okay. So we have to keep the practical aspect in mm -hmm. mind all the time. Mm -hmm. But I want to bring... Uh, Rukhshan, I want to ask you as well. Um, we're, you know, as a gender expert and someone who's worked in television, do you think that we are, you know, the way the dramas are going, the ones that we have discussed, the way the films are going, we're going in, are we going in the right direction or do we need more now? What do we need f to push people to kind of think, use more intellectual aspects of society and issues? Actually, I don't want uh, to give an opinion mm -hmm. that what is right direction, okay. right and wrong could be right. Uh, they are you relative. You can give your own opinion. Yeah. So, uh, but, uh, and I don't want to be prescriptive either mm -hmm. because uh, I agree with uh, Shah Saab mm -hmm. again that, uh, I mean, there should not be any uh, prescription. Mm -hmm. uh, there should be call for action. Uh, it should be thought stimulating, provoking. <laughs> not but within bad. a conservative but society, yeah. how do we do that? No, but 
what we are, why we think that we are conservative. Because we are. Uh, Let's we, not no, deny them. No, 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 no. It depends. That's your how, challenge. You have that's to a challenge. Yeah. engage them. Yeah, okay. because you have to look at uh, your own history, your evolution, that probably we were not that conservative before, like, uh, you know, <laughs> so yes, regime, mm -hmm. or then we became conservative, and mm -hmm. then we are we are again seen as liberal. So we are selectively conservative, we are selectively liberal. So mm -hmm. when it comes to the rights of women ag again, when it comes to the rights of the poor, mm -hmm. we suddenly become conservative. Yeah. Okay. We, we don't we want to, we don't want to have land reforms. Mm -hmm. We don't want uh, to have uh, you know uh, to to grant right of inheritance to women because then we are conservative. Mm -hmm. So this actually this uh, checking mm -hmm. and this examination has to be done by the mass media. It mm -hmm. can be very effectively done through tele, uh, through films and we always you know ridicule pakistani films but i remember that one issue we with which i am very attached mm -hmm. that is uh, dowry related violence and i recall those old pakistani mm -hmm. films <coughs> you know <coughs> which shabnam <laughs> was always a victim of dowry yeah. and uh, uh, the songs were sung by madam noor jaha <laughs> yeah. and you know it was very important because now it, people say oh what are you talking about it's so traditional and outdated and you know <laughs> talk about something very uh, fashionable mm -hmm. sexual harassment at workplace and uh, <laughs> then again, so so my uh, you know uh, my two cents are like that. At one, mm. are um, uh, we should not be prescriptive. Mm. Let's be open about mm. it. Let's invite a dialogue because I, uh, because there is no dialogue in our society. Yeah. Uh, this is what I have Very felt. Well said. Mm. And uh, secondly, uh, one dimension of uh, there are many dimensions of learning is also to unlearn. Mm. Why we are always you know looking at the message? Okay, mm. I know I mean Ishfaq Ahmed in our times he loaded us with messages, but let's try to unlearn as well mm. and. Uh, uh, there are many uh, attributes of effective uh, communication mm -hmm. and one uh, important and nothing is less important uh, clarity is also very important consistency mm -hmm. is also very important one very important attribute is uh, that communication has to be trustworthy it has to create trust mm -hmm. and by the way many of the dramas when they backfire or there's a demand from some segments of the s society to ban them that is because when they look at the sources of funding I'm very sorry mm -hmm. okay. because I am a I think uh, PTV is my family when PTV does something on its own, mm. it is seldom like challenged. Mm. Yeah, this mm. is very important mm. that who is saying what. Mm. This is very important. And uh, last but not least, let's not give up. Let's uh, let's try to do something and keep on doing it. And by the way, money and masterpiece should not be seen as you know mutually exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> so mm. I hope that uh, uh, Shah Saab's movies and all those you know intellectually uh, sound products they should be able to make more money. Mm. And you are the people who are responsible for it because mm. uh, the way fashion designers and singers they are promoted. Mm. You don't we don't promote intellectuals. We mm. think oh. He or she mm. aren't they a bit bored? Mm. We need some hala gulla. We need somebody who can you know, <coughs> dance and sing. No, we can obviously do that. Now, now I'll pick up on <laughs> two things. Oh, Shahab can sing. I know. Yeah, <laughs> but I'll you know, every time we we want something which is very very quick mm. and which is uh, you know you need. We are used to of instant coffees and we like some instant immediate success. gratification. Yeah. Immediate. So that is not possible. And that I does mean, not work. Yeah. I so guess. we we are no longer grounded. So okay. That, that okay. So first of all, I'm going to pick up on two things which you have mentioned. Mm -hmm. First mm -hmm. of all, you use the term trustworthy and then yeah. you said the, that the way singers and artists are being promoted, intellectuals are not. Mm -hmm. I think that can only happen. And artists and singers are intellectuals as well. Oh, okay. Shah no, is there. No, but that's what you said. <laughs> but now, what I'm going to say is that, you know, since, you know, at the start of the show, we mentioned yeah. that depiction of social issues within media. Yeah. Now, one of the very biggest issue of all times is that in Pakistan, mm -hmm. celebrities are politicians. Mm -hmm. Not intellects, not singers, not musicians. How many of you are going to disagree to that? Are you going to disagree to that? No, which politician is a celebrity, celebrity? apart from uh, um, the cricketer? No, no, other than that, all day long. But I, mean, I, I actually disagree with this uh, charismatic uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, idea of a politician. Okay. Bhutto was very charismatic. He was. I think he was also self-destructive. Yeah. And the other guy is also as self-destructive as Bhutto. Okay, but so then, you, sir, you should have informed people. You should have politicians with clear vision. You know. So, okay. so now, what happens <coughs> is that when there was a time of when we we had a concept of prime time, and prime time was uh, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, or basically ten o'clock, when we used to watch all of these dramas. What do you watch at this point of time nowadays? All the I'm, politicians I'm being discussed. Basically, I, I I watch news. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm um, I have this thirst for information. Mm -hmm. I watch news, and occasionally current affairs shows. Mm. Okay. Now so I you're pro, pro with that. Yeah. That is all right. 
the problem with uh, with me is that I cannot watch my own productions. Right. I cannot watch my own plays because it becomes a very frustrating experience. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I've not seen many plays these days. Let's see what good some has to say. Well, I've seen, uh, you know, lots of, uh, uh, lots of uh, programs. Uh, you know, I call it uh, the circus, you know, of politicians <laughs> in, the, in the evening. And uh, to tell you very frankly, I'm sick and tired of it. And uh, I do not watch that stuff anymore. Okay. I've got to support it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, in regards to this uh, comment that Shazad's made, um, that's actually, I feel like it's international, it's a global thing that's going on. Even with the, the American polit politics, even with the Canadian politics, even with British, everything's becoming, everything's in the media, everything's relevant. No, but, you know, Justin Trudeau is a face you could actually watch on television. Yeah, but, he's, <laughs> but at the end of the day, he's still a politician. Yeah. So you are also creating that celebrity. He in was that. a model too. Okay. So that was good for him. <laughs> but he's a feminist as well. <laughs> so now, but keeping it in line to, um, you know, like Shazad said, you, you're tired of seeing the prime time. You want <coughs> to get some entertainment. Sorry. But how do we now find that balance? Because you have one aspect where Jamal uh, Saab is saying that I enjoy this, I want more information. Then we have Ijaz Saab saying that, no, I'm tired of it. I want to ask you, Rikisanda, how do we find that balance now? Like, because we need to. Because there's lots of people who want different things. Because at 8 in the morning, it's a breaking news. At 9 in the morning, it's breaking news. 8 p.m. is breaking news. Breaking news. Every day, it's just breaking news. Why are, why are we in search of, you know, balance? I mean, why don't we uh, try to... Because <laughs> uh, uh, balance is some, uh, some, No, some, uh, some intellectually sound content. Mm. Because, and let's go to the uh, basics. What is a breaking news? Mm. I mean, he or she, uh, they are just leaving the country and they have just entered a shopping mall. This has become the breaking news. Yes. I mean, uh, so one has to go back to the basics. Somebody getting divorced is a breaking news over here. Yeah, but or the cow fell down yeah. was a breaking news and, the other day. And then you don't look, and if you're doing it in the Pakistani context, you, you said that it's global. Look, I look at the global news, and but there is uh, less drama there. Yeah. Okay. At least uh, yeah. they are very careful that uh, the, they, they conceal it, but mature, there is less drama. Mature, yeah. yeah. mature. So maturity should be there. I mean, you cannot be, uh, uh, you cannot say that, okay, we are very liberal, we are modernized, we are westernized, and uh, this okay, okay, but then uh, it should not be selective westernization, mm -hmm modernization and, and liberalism, you have to be mature as well. Mm. So the balance can only be attained, but through hard work and through reading as well. Mm. Because uh, I, I wonder that uh, how many uh, filmmakers, new filmmakers, they have actually read all the columns, or at least some of the columns by Ajaz Gulsa. Mm. Because mm. They, they, they don't know that uh, what is a film. Mm. So anybody can come, and I'm not uh, you know <laughs> discouraging, yeah. but one should know mm. that what is a good film, and who are the masters in the field. Exactly. There's no concept of mentoring. I know there is, uh, I mean, all the young people, even when we started, we also wanted to change the world. Mm -hmm. But, uh, uh, I mean, there was a concept of uh, mentoring and mentee. We never thought that we are the leaders or we, uh, we have learned everything. Mm -hmm. I remember that uh, when, uh, in my live transmission, uh, I was told that I would be interviewing Jamal Shah. I was so yeah. nervous. Mm -hmm. I was so nervous <laughs> that how could I, I mean, <coughs> interview Sorry. him? And, uh, I mean, uh, so, uh, and at that time, there was no Google. So, there, so the research was all manual. And there were, so I, I I interviewed many poets and many writers and uh, filmmakers, so they don't do research mm -hmm. and they don't accept mentors. They don't know who are the mentors. Exactly. And I've seen very, uh, you know, accomplished younger people and they don't know uh, some of the very um, big names mm. in their own And I think, that, uh, I think that's not only uh, also the fault of the, next, the younger generation, I think also the mental kind of, yeah. they've dwindled down and there's also I'm not blaming, that actually I'm, not blaming. Blaming. I'm just saying yeah. that if you want, no, you're absolutely if right. you are in search of balance, mm. then you have to first, uh, you know, read some basic. I mean, yeah. you cannot exactly. do experiments without learning the exactly. basics of anything, whether very it is well a camera work, whether it is artwork, you Great. should know we need at to least. learn about it. Yeah. Great, thank yeah. you so much. And we're actually running out of time. The show went really fast but exactly. is there any last words uh, that you would like to share with all our viewers today you know on the situation of drama and film production yeah. nice you, food, you mean you want me to finish myself well I'm, I'm, the last word would be that uh, we should try to uh, revive our cinema yeah. uh, you know and as since I've, I've uh, taken over uh, Pakistan Arts yes. National Council of the Arts as DG. So I'll be trying to, uh, uh, you know, rebuild the the cultural narrative of the land and promote it, Wonderful. propagate Great. it. I would say that uh, 
uh, you know, we have a very glorious uh, film history mm -hmm. uh, since 1947, and the, and the young generation should go back to it, and they should watch all the good films, the good music. Mm -hmm. We have a very rich reservoir mm -hmm. uh, that should not be skipped. Wow. Wonderful, mm -hmm. thank you. Amazing that. And um, in final words, media matters. Be serious. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Exactly. Thank you so much for your time, and thank you for being here thank today. Thank you very much for coming over, guys. Yeah. And the nutshell is basically hard work beats talent. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and also, you know, at the end of the day, if you you guys are the ones that are watching, your voices need to be heard. If you know, give your feedback to the uh, to the TV channels. Get in touch with people, and you know that's how we will progress and evolve. Exactly. So with that, do you log on to our Facebook fan page, which is with the name of World This Morning. Our Twitter page, World This Morning without G. Our Daily Motion and YouTube World page. World This Morning once again. And the repeat is five past eleven p.m. Till the next time, look after yourselves. A very good morning. One, two, three. Good, good morning. morning. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.